Is your name Miriam? Oh, yes. I started my career uh, at Paramount Studios. And at Paramount, back in the old days, they always gave you a beautiful movie star name. So they gave me the name of Laura Elliott, which I think is a beautiful name, but it wasn't my name. So I was there five years and uh, did 28 films as Laura Elliott. One of them was a loan out to Warner Brothers for Strangers on a Train. And uh, it's interesting the way I got that. There was another really cute girl under contract at Paramount. And she came in one day to the commissary. Oh, I just went on this interview. This part's just perfect for me, da 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 And I looked at her, and I looked at me. I said, well, we're nothing alike, so you know, it's not going to be anything for me. So I did nothing. And it must have been four months later, my agent called me and said, Laura, go on this interview over at Warner Brothers for this Hitchcock picture, Strangers on a Train. I said, well, you know, I don't think I'm going to be right for that. He said, well, just go anyway. So I go over there. I get the scene. I said, oh, my God. God, this is wonderful. <laughs> so I read it for the casting director. He liked it. And within a very short period of time, six of us girls, I don't know the other five, but six of us tested. We had a real screen test uh, doing that particular scene. And fortunately, I got it. You know, if I'd known what all that tennis nonsense of yours was going to lead to, I wouldn't have run out on you. What are you trying to say, Miriam? I'm not getting a divorce. You little double-crosser. I didn't want this divorce. You did. That's what you've been harping about for the past year. Woman's privilege to change your mind. I usually wore my hair down because it was long in those days. And the little dress I wore was a silk dress. And we were working at the carnival at night where the guys were all in parkas. And I'm a little silk dress. And, you know, they say, action, hello. And you, and you just relax and, and do it. Um, I think the glasses were, were very instrumental. Um, Mr. Hitchcock, you see, I still say Mr. Hitchcock. <laughs> um, he said, go to this uh, eyeglass place and pick out some glasses. Well, what kind? Well, whatever you want to pick up. And I found those, and they made six pair. They made two with a very, very, very thick lens. They were so thick, I could not see the blur of my hand in front of my face. So basically, I did the, the picture blind, and Robert Walker, who was just brilliant, he wore thick glasses. And so on this film, I wore thick glasses and he didn't. So he said, well, it's the blind leading the blind. And then we had two pair that were medium lenses, and I never saw those, and two pair that were just kind of clear glass for long shots. We improvised a, a lot, not in the written dialogue. The written dialogue was done as written. But from the time... The two young men picked me up at my house, and we went out to go to the carnival. That was all improv. You know, it was just, hi, come on, let's go do this. Oh, did you see that? And whatever would bubble up at the moment. And, uh, and again, if you watch it very closely, you'll see, for instance, we left the house to get onto the bus. And you'll see just before we get onto the bus, one will give me his hand, the other one, and I'll go up the steps, because I didn't know where the steps were. And they were helping me find that. It was the same through the entire sequence. If it was something that needed help, they were there to help and make it look like, you know, we were just having fun holding hands or whatever. Same thing happened. I think I came out of a close-up and ran toward the carousel, not being able to see the carousel and having to jump onto the moving carousel. That one was tricky, <laughs> but they helped and I made it. <laughs> When Bruno comes up and flicks his light and he says, Is your name Miriam? She looks at him in all its anticipation and says, Why, yes. And then he starts to strangle her and the glasses fall. That was all exterior. But then we went, probably a week later, onto the stage at Warner Brothers and on an empty sound stage, Mr. Hitchcock had this big, round, kind of concave mirror type of thing. And it was on the floor. And he said, All right, Laura turn around backwards, and the camera's shooting into the concave mirror. So I was standing with my back to it, far enough away. He said, lean over backward, like you're doing the Lindy. He said, and Laura, float to the ground. Float backward. Oh, 
yes, Mr. Hitchcock, you know. So I turn around, action. And I'm, because I'm not a gymnast, you know, I've never done. Anyway, I start floating, floating, floating. I get halfway and go clunk onto the cement floor. Cut. Laura, float to the ground. Yes, Mr. Hitchcock. Get going, on going. You go clunk again. Seven times. The seventh time, I got tired of hitting that cement. I literally floated backwards all the way to the cement floor. All he said was, cut, next shot. She's fainted. Oh, come on, get up. She's dead. I must say I was a little disappointed. It didn't change my career. And I think it should have because I had brilliant write-ups, thank God, in Reporter and Variety and things. But because it was a loan out from Paramount to Warner Brothers, I don't think they knew what I did. And uh, by the time it came out or something, I, you know... I mean, I didn't go to the front office and say, hey, did you look at that picture that I, you know, it didn't happen. I remember the first thing that I did after shooting the film, uh, I went as a contract player, I went back and they had me holding up color swatches so the camera crew could test color. Well, that's fine, you know, I don't mind, but I really thought, you know, it might make some difference, but I've been very lucky. That was classic, turned out to be. Peyton Place, I was on 252 episodes. That was a classic television series. And then to go right on to Bewitched, which was another top 10, you know, those are three classic things that I fortunately enjoyed and was able to participate in. Is your name Miriam? 